Welcome to Friday, July 5th, 2024, your day with the podcast being brought to you by Wyoming State Parks. Why wonder about the outdoors in Wyoming? Explore the statewide interactive outdoor recreation wonder map to find your next adventure. As we go through the next three days, this will take us through Sunday. Overall, the weather is going to be pretty nice. The exception will be the northern areas, Montana, North Dakota, South Central Canada, into the upper Midwest. Showers, clouds, and the coolest temperatures will be found there, while it's just going to bake in the interior west and the western slopes. Sunday is going to be a little bit of a downer day east of the divide. A cold front coming in Saturday night and Sunday morning will bring upslope cooler weather. In fact, Sunday may end up being the coolest day, along with a chance for some showers and thunderstorms east of the divide, west of the divide. It'll continue to be hot and it will be toasty. The opposite will happen in the nation's midsection. We'll show you that here in a minute. There's quite the contrast to what will be happening along the east and west coast and what will be happening over flyover country. The remains of the hurricane will be headed to Texas and parts of the south central United States in the coming days. The satellite imagery this morning really not showing too much going on. You can see the northwest winds aloft east of the divide, pushing in some low clouds, a little bit of upslope here the main low in the upper Midwest, but the rest of the Western United States is dry. You can see on the water vapor loop, the hot, dry weather in the Southwestern United States stretching back into California. And then the moisture is right along and east of the divide. There's the pattern, 500 millibars today with the high pressure ridge developing and staying right on the West Coast. Northwest winds aloft, winds aloft coming from the Northwest along and east of the divide. And basically this pattern is stubborn. It's today and this is what it's gonna be by Monday. So basically the configuration is the same. So that means the weather won't change much overall in terms of the overall general pattern. And you can see by Monday, there we go, far south Texas is gonna see uh, maybe a weak hurricane. When we take a look at the track, uh, it's going to be weakening going across the Yucatan Peninsula back to a tropical storm then becoming a hurricane again, maybe, as it gets into far southern Texas before weakening rapidly as it heads inland. Probably won't be a, a huge hurricane as it gets to this area, but it's something that we certainly need to keep an eye on. It is going to curve this way, not to the west. Then when, if you look at the track, if you loop the precipitation forecast starting today into early next week, you can see the path and the remains of barrel coming on up through, then you can see it hit, then start to curve. So you're gonna see some potential real heavy rains in Central and East Texas, maybe getting up into Eastern Oklahoma, into Arkansas. Uh, those areas could be looking at some real significant rains early to mid next week. You can see showers and thunderstorms in the mountains of Mexico, but nothing getting up here as the, the subtropical moisture flow in the West is gonna get cut off for a bit. These are the forecasted high temperatures today. Look at all the purple, just baking from Phoenix to Sacramento, all the way up into Oregon and Washington State. While over here, it's just Goldilocks temperatures, just right. Very, very comfortable. These are temperatures today. Saturday, the heat expands a little bit more to the north, but look at the beat down on temperatures on Sunday. Look at that. These are high temperatures, high temperatures in Kansas on Sunday may only be in the 70s, but just a little bit further south and west, look at the heat. So this is gonna gather all the attention with the really hot weather, but when you look at temperatures anomalies by Sunday, look at these anomalies. You can see the cold front pushing all the way into the Texas Panhandle. So this cold surge Sunday is looking more and more impressive east of the divide. We're looking at the precipitation forecast looking like this. This is where the showers and thunderstorms are gonna to be today, right here. And then this is where the showers and thunderstorms are gonna to be tomorrow. So basically the same areas are gonna have the best chances for showers and storms. However, by late Saturday night, overnight Saturday and the Sunday, that next cold surge is gonna push through. So showers and thunderstorms right along the front for Kansas, maybe the Panhandles, in the eastern Colorado, eastern Wyoming, Nebraska. So Sunday's looking like a lot more of an active day. Of course, if you're west of the divide, it's a real yawner. High pressure, this is by next Saturday, begins to push eastward, but it looks to be a slower eastward push than it looked before. So yes, the heat along the west coast 
will start to push a little bit more east, but the really, really hot weather may not get into the Rockies and High Plains until later next week. So uh, the heat will come, but it's delayed a bit. Look at the temperature anomaly over the next seven days. So this is between today and next Friday. So it's going to be warmer than average along the East Coast. It's going to be much, much hotter than average, really, really hot in the interior and from British Columbia all the way into the southwestern United States, but unseasonably cool over the seven day period in the nation's midsection. So flyover country is going to be rather cool. In fact, very cool for July, while the coasts will get hot. So you'll hear about the heat here. You'll hear about the heat here. You will not hear much about the coolness here. When we take a look at the temperature anomaly by next Saturday, though, you can see the, ex the expansion eastward of the heat. So the heat will continue to build. It'll be extremely hot in the Pacific Northwest relative to average, and then the heat will expand. And so we do see the heat coming back. Now that heat eventually, in about 10 days, will start the subtropical moisture flow back upwards. So it, it's gonna be a fairly quiet week next week with weather. When it comes to showers and thunderstorms, there will be a few, but the subtropical moisture feed is going to be quite weak until we get a little bit deeper into the month of July, probably right around that 20th, 21st of the month is when they expect the, this part of the country to get better into the subtropical moisture flow. Have yourself a great Friday and a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday.